Hey guys, what's up? It is Six Flows back on YouTube with the Adobe Audition 5.5 How to Process Your Vocals. As you see here, I have all my instruments on every track, and then I have my lead vocals right here. Okay, so first things first, I always say this make sure you get a good recording of your vocal. Make sure it is at a good level, make sure it's clean, make sure you have the room as dead as possible, you know no sounds coming in on like unwanted noise and make sure you go ahead and record it to the point that it's not too hot this one I had it I think at negative 15 negative 12 I'm gonna go ahead and play it keep an eye on the levels I don't need no alcohol don't need no rock and roll oh boy as you see it doesn't pass negative 12 dB that is a great level to record at. And with that said, let's jump right into it. For the vocals, what I like to do is EQ first. To do that, we're going to go ahead and click Filter and EQ and Parametric EQ. Now for this one, I went ahead and did a cut at 86 frequency. You're going to do your cuts from 50 to, I want to say, 90, depending on the vocal. Um, for 250s, if you have, if it sounds, your vocal sounds muddy, like muddy, if you have muddiness, I guess, um, go ahead and cut around 220 to 250. And, okay, what I did for this vocal was that at the 5,000 frequency, I went ahead and boosted it 2 dB, and at 7,000, I boosted it 1 dB. Around 4,000 to 6,000, or I want to say 4,000 to 6,500 frequency, is where you're gonna have your clarity and your presence. So you're gonna go ahead and boost there. You know, just play around with it, just do it 2 dB, mess around with the frequency from 4,000, 5,000. For the 7,000, I boosted at one, you know, for a little air. Just mess around with the EQ. If you guys haven't done any research on EQ, go ahead and do that because it is a lovely tool once you get the hang of it. As you see here, I have two compressors. The reason for that is that I don't want one compressor working too hard to the point that it's not going to do a good job. So what I did is I went to amplitude and compressor and did a single band compressor. Now for the threshold, if you guys don't know anything about threshold, make sure you do your research on that on my previous videos. But for this threshold, I went ahead and did negative 16.5. You're basically going to mess around with the threshold to the point that you can hear your entire vocal. Not too loud, but you know, you can hear every single word said or being sung. The ratio, I went ahead and did a 3 to 1. The attack, I like to go anywhere from 3 to 7. For this one, I went to 7. Sometimes I'll go to 10 depending on the vocal. The release, I went with the fast release of 100 milliseconds and the output gain of 3.2. Now, guys, for the second compressor, it's going to be the same exact thing as you see here. I have the same exact compressor. The first compressor is compressing the vocals and the second compressor is going to compress the compressor. That way they're not working hard, as hard, and the compression accent comes out really well doing all of that. Next thing is the de-esser. going to go to amplitude and compressor, compression and de -esser. Since this is a female voice, I went with the female voice de-esser. Went, I went ahead and didn't do any tweaks because I don't really mess with de -essers. So if you have a female voice, do the female voice de -esser, and male, obviously male voice de -esser. Now for the studio reverb, I went to reverb and studio reverb. And I went ahead and clicked the vocal reverb small. Only thing I changed was the dryness was at 70%, I believe. So I went ahead and put that to 100, as you see here. And the wetness, I put it at 20.3. Now for the wetness, the lesser percentage the lesser of a reverb you're gonna have the more the more of a reverb effect so just mess around with it until you have it to the good level that you like it you know try not to put too much reverb because it kind of sounds ugly with a lot of reverb depending on the song that's it for the vocal processing really that's all you really have to do you know just mess around with the compression and EQ settings make sure you have a good recording you know and now the last thing that if you are ready to have your song mastered you're going to want to go ahead and make sure it's your entire session doesn't peak over negative three because the master 
master mastering engineer is gonna need headroom you know so I like to give them a negative 6 to negative 3 dB of headroom so what I went ahead and did is I went ahead and put negative 6 dB on each of my tracks and I'm gonna go ahead and play so you can see where it actually peaks As you see, it's not peaking over negative 3 dB, which is good. You know, that way the master engineer has some headroom. So that is it, guys, for vocal processing in Adobe Audition 5.5. After this, I'm going to be having the song, this song right here, after I have mixed it and everything. I'm going to go ahead and put it right after this video. So make sure you keep watching because it's going to be right up next. And guys, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you have any questions. Comment down below. Thank you. I don't need no alcohol Don't need no rock and roll Oh boy I don't need your money I don't even need to breathe But I need you to hold me You told